There are two really brief classes of question I want to address the way you write your answer. Okay? Let's have a look at this one. If I gave you a question like this, okay, you've seen this question, you know that it's not sort of geared up for integration or differentiation for that matter. We can do a simple rewriting of the integrand to make it look nicer. How would we re rewrite it? X to the power of? Yep, negative 6. Fantastic. So once you've got everything in index form, um, your anti-differentiation, your integration brain could just kind of take over, right? Um, I've written, and a lot of people are missing this, right? You want to simplify, and then you think, well, I'll just not worry about this because I'm thinking about algebra, not calculus right now. But you haven't done the integration yet. So this is still hanging around until you do, OK? Um, real quick, tell me what to do with this. Power, um, index? Goes up to negative 5. What do you think is the uh, second most common error in integration when you see a power like this? Yeah, negative 7, because right, it's easy to go backwards. Um, this, we then divide by this. What is the most common error that people make in integration? It's forgetting the constant of integration. Okay? Now, at this point, we're pretty much done. The integration is finished. But your original question had no negative indices in it, and we tend not to write negative indices. We only did it so we could integrate, right? So I would encourage you to tidy this up in two ways. Put the negative up the top. Put the negative up the top. Um, this really is division, right? So on your denominator, there should be a 5 and an x to the 5 plus your constant that you got left there, OK? Can you hold on for one more minute? Do you need to run for recess? No, no. OK. I'll make this really quick, because it's the same idea, OK? What if I gave you this? It's kind of sort of the same issue, right? How would you rewrite it? Um, x to the half. half, right? So again, I haven't done the integration yet, so my integral sign is still there. When you get to your answer, right? Index goes up, divide by a new index, and strictly speaking, you are done. But this is weird and gross, isn't it? For starters, you've got a fraction on a fraction. And then secondly, this is not something we had in the original question, right? How would we rewrite this without any indices in it? What is x to the 3 on 2? x. It's actually x root x. That's a bit sneaky, that one. Um, that division by 2 on the bottom actually goes up onto the top, and then you're finished.